uh, looking up and wake up. We do not consent to the use of weather and climate modification or the despotic new world order. God bless and peace for all. Peace for all. It seems probable that one of the projects for modifying the global climate discussed by Fletcher in 1965, namely modification of cloud cover over the North Polar Basin by cloud seeding, is already underway. Up until the mid-1970s, documents suggest the establishment desire was to intentionally melt the Arctic sea ice, to free up shipping lanes, access rich resources and open up vast regions of ice-locked land. And adversely, climate changes could likely be blamed on the anthropogenic global warming to instigate the beginning of global governance through United Nations Agenda 21 Sustainable Development Programme to create the new world order. When one begins to research the history of weather and climate modification, it is surprising how far up the power structure the desire for developing a large-scale weather and climate modification programme was, from Presidents Eisenhower, JFK, Johnson, onwards and onwards, with a high priority put on these possibilities. The Johnson administration was using weather modification for geopolitical leverage with India and Pakistan in 1967. We do not need to be scientists to observe the sky and see the obvious negative effects aviation is having, and research the spiralling health impacts. Just start looking up and wake up. We do not consent to the use of weather and climate modification. We do not consent.